when Pearl Harbor happened, I was a, a, a uh, architectural engineering student at Iowa State, and <clears throat> I volunteered the week after Pearl Harbor when I was home for Christmas vacation. So I was called into the Army early. I was called into the first engineer amphibious or special brigade, a unit organized to initiate or spearhead invasions, to go in first to destroy barbed wire, mines, pillboxes, underwater obstacles so that the attacking force could get ashore. So I was in the first invasion of the war, which was Algeria, Morocco, and then I went with Patton, General Georgie Porgy Patton, to <laughs> Tunisia to fight Rommel until he was defeated there. Then I invaded Sicily on D-Day and was there until the end of the campaign. Then I invaded Salerno, bloody Salerno, in Italy and was there till north of Naples. Then I went up to the British Isles so that I was there when Normandy D-Day happened. And on D-Day, November 6th, 1944, I was on Utah Beach. And my unit was in France until we got to Aachen, Germany. Then I went to the Pacific to Anahuitoc, Roanimur, Kwajalein, Ulithi, Okinawa. The biggest and bloodiest campaign of the Pacific, one out of three Americans was a casualty there. When the war ended, I went to Korea to disarm the Japanese troops, and then I came home in one piece. Wow. So when people at, for example, the VA hear about what I've done, they say they never heard of anybody who approached that many like locations and that many campaigns. I came to Eugene because 41 years ago, I and a marvelous woman were each single parents of four children apiece. And I was able to talk her into marrying me. And we now have 10 grandchildren. We would visit the children. My youngest son, Andrew Perra, who is the executive director of the village school, lived here. He was then the uh, director of nearby nature. He asked me how I liked being here, and I said, I love it. And he said, well, then why not move to paradise? And I said, I will as soon as I find a house close to you. And I found one eight houses from him and bought it, went back to Park Forest, Illinois, a Chicago suburb, sold my house and moved back in seven weeks. And I just keep being happier all the time to live in the paradise of Eugene, which happens to be in a marvelous state today. Oregon. I feel happy about it, not that it is really any significance to me, but because the community values it highly, it gives me an opportunity to say what I feel about peace and how important it is for people to work for peace rather than surrender to war. So Legion of Honor means publicity for peace for me. <laughs> A week from Monday, I and my oldest son, Christopher, who lives in California, are going to Turkey. For years, I have wanted to go to Turkey. I like foreign vacations. I've been to 47 countries, and I've wanted to go to Turkey for a long time. 